The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to upload a data set into Iowa Research Online. Please be aware that the information in this video is complemented by information on our website, available at lib.uiowa.edu slash data. Then from the right hand in navigation, under Share and Preserve Data, you will see Data Deposit Guide for IRO. There you'll find written directions with screenshots, as well as additional information on some of the steps which you may find useful. To depo begin depositing your data into IRO, the first thing you'll need to do is to navigate to iro.uiowa.edu and choose Sign In from the upper right hand corner. You'll be prompted to enter your Hawk ID credentials. And please be aware, because I'm a graduate student, I see an extra screen. But if you are a researcher or a faculty member at the University of Iowa, you will go directly to a screen that looks like this. From the upper right hand corner, you can choose Add Content and then Works. The first prompt will ask you what you are submitting, and then it says Select Asset Type. From there, you'll see a drop down box with the many different types of items that you might submit to the repository. But today we're submitting a data set, so we'll choose that one. Then you'll notice that it says search for your data set by title or DOI. The title of my data set is organophosphate degradation data. And please note that the best titles for data sets do include the word data or data set somewhere in them so that the end user understands what they'll be looking at. You'll see the pop up box that says we found nothing for that title, and that's a good sign. That means there's nothing else in the repository with that title. It's available and I can use it. If you find that the title that you'd like to use for your data set is taken, please choose a different descriptive title. Now it's time to add our files. Please note before we do this process that although this says that the maximum file size is 500 megs per file, we can in fact support larger file types. You simply will need to email us at Research Data Services to assist with the process. If your files are within this limit, you can click here to select your files. In this case, we're going to be uploading a data set and some documentation, including our data dictionary and our README. You'll see that our files show up. Then you'll notice a drop down box next to each of these different types of files. And because we have uploaded some docu essential documentation, we're going to make sure that we set the content type for those extra documents. So with the drop down box, we're going to click it and then choose set content type. And this is our data dictionary. So we'll choose that from the drop down menu. And this for our README, we'll do the same. We'll set the content type. And in this case, we'll choose README. Now we're going to choose a license for our data set and our associated documents. In this case, I'm going to go straight to my original data set. And then I'm going to choose this button, which is add license. Here, you'll see the many different types of licenses that you might apply to your data set. Please be aware that our website has some guidance on choosing a license. Generally, for data sets, we recommend Open Data Commons attribution licenses, whereas for other types of documents, a Creative Commons license might be more appropriate. Once you've chosen your data, data license type, you can choose apply to all files if you would like the same type of license to be applied to all the files that you're uploading. In this case, I will do that. I'll click there and then I'll choose Open Data Commons Attribution License. Now that we have set the content type and included a license, in the next video, we will discuss how to describe your data set 